Today, we're going to tie the Clouser Minnow, arguably one of the most popular and versatile streamer patterns ever made. Originally created back in the 80s by Bob Clouser, a legendary fly tire instructor and fisherman. We will start by wrapping our thread halfway to the bend of the hook. Prepare your hook for tying in a dumbbell eye. Select the dumbbell size. Smaller dumbbells will allow the fly to sink slower, and larger eyes will sink faster. The choice is up to you. Go ahead and tie in your dumbbell. For more detailed information on tying in dumbbells properly, click the video link above. Now cut and prepare your bucktail. For more information on preparing bucktail, click the bucktail link above. To tie in your bucktail easily, make two loose wraps, then tighten the thread. Make sure the bucktail is sitting on top of the hook and not covering the eye of the hook. Make a few wraps to lock the bucktail in place. The thickness of your bucktail will depend on how bushy or thin you want your fly. I'm using about a half of a pencil thickness. Now pull your bucktail tight and wrap behind the dumbbells and about halfway to the bend of the hook. Then go ahead and wrap back to the eye of the hook. We will now be tying on the other side, so flip your fly over in the vise. Measure another chunk of bucktail and prepare it for tying in. When tying in, make sure the bucktail is sitting on top of the hook. Now we will tie in a bit of flash. I am going to be using chartreuse crystal flash. I tie in the flash at the center of the bunch, then pull the other side over and lock it into place. Now we will tie in the back color bucktail after preparing it. In this case I am using chartreuse. It is important to prepare this clump properly or you will not get a nice tapered head on your fly. Refer to my preparing bucktail video link at the top if you do not already know how to do this. We will want to build a nice tapered head on the fly and cover all the bucktail tightly. Now we can whip finish the fly. While not 100% necessary to finish this fly, I like to add a bit of epoxy. In this case, I am using Solara's UV curing epoxy because it's much easier than the mixing stuff. Make sure that all the threads are covered completely before curing. You can also add a drop of super glue or paint on some head cement. But I find epoxy looks nicer and is much more durable. This fly is one of those flies that is almost always in my box. They're great for fishing most saltwater and freshwater fish. It really is one of the most versatile streamer patterns ever created. If you like this sort of thing, please subscribe to my channel and leave your questions in the comment section below. Now get off the internet and go catch some fish. <laughs>